Imagine the unimaginable. Thousands of tons of water, once held back by towering walls of concrete, suddenly unleashed in a devastating torrent. These are not just stories from the past, they are real events that reshaped communities, changed lives, and rewrote engineering history. Today, we uncover the top five most shocking and catastrophic dam collapses in history. Brace yourself for tales of colossal failure, human error, and nature's unstoppable force. We will journey to the sites of some of the most devastating dam failures in human history. We will witness the sheer scale of destruction, the immense human cost, and the lessons learned from these tragic events. In the heart of China, the Bangkiao Dam stood as a symbol of the nation's ambition. Completed in 1952, it was a key component of a vast network of dams designed to control the flood-prone Huai River Basin and provide much-needed irrigation for agriculture. The dam, a testament to human engineering, stood tall against the backdrop of rolling hills, a concrete sentinel guarding against the unpredictable fury of the river. Little did anyone know that this symbol of progress would soon become a harbinger of unimaginable tragedy. The summer of 1975 brought with it torrential rains, the likes of which had not been seen in generations. Typhoon Nina, a powerful storm, swept across the region, unleashing its full fury on the already saturated land. As the relentless rain continued to fall, the rivers and reservoirs swelled, pushing the Bangchao Dam to its absolute limit. Unbeknownst to those downstream, a disaster of unimaginable proportions was brewing. On the evening of August 7th, as the storm raged on, the unthinkable happened. The Bangkiao Dam, unable to withstand the immense pressure of the ever-rising floodwaters, finally succumbed. A breach, small at first, quickly grew into a gaping chasm, unleashing a wall of water upon the unsuspecting populace below. The torrent, a raging monster unleashed from its concrete confines, tore through the landscape with a vengeance. Homes, villages, and entire towns were swallowed whole, swept away in the relentless deluge. The floodwaters, carrying with them debris and the remnants of shattered lives, surged across the land at an alarming speed, leaving a trail of devastation in their wake. The once familiar landscape was transformed into a swirling vortex of destruction, swallowing everything in its path. The scale of the disaster was almost incomprehensible. Millions of people were affected by the floodwaters, their lives upended in an instant. The Bankyao Dam collapse served as a stark reminder of the awesome power of nature and the fragility of human life. In the aftermath of the Bankyao Dam collapse, the true extent of the devastation slowly began to emerge. The official death toll, shrouded in secrecy, was estimated to be in the tens of thousands. The floodwaters, slow to recede, left behind a scene of utter desolation. Homes were reduced to rubble, crops were destroyed, and countless families were left to grieve. The Bankyao Dam collapse became a defining moment, a stark reminder of the potential consequences of unchecked development. Nestled in the picturesque Allegheny Mountains of Pennsylvania, Johnstown was a town forged in the fires of industry. Built on the banks of the Little Conemaw River, it was a bustling hub of iron and steel production. High above the town stood the South Fork Dam. The dam had fallen into disrepair. Little was done to address the potential dangers it posed. The allure of profit outweighed the warnings of caution. As May of 1889 drew to a close, the heavens opened, unleashing a deluge upon the already saturated hillside surrounding Johnstown. The Little Conemaw River, swollen by days of relentless rain, surged through the valley, transforming the once placid waterway into a raging torrent. The South Fork Dam, already compromised by years of neglect and poor maintenance, strained under the immense pressure. Its earthen walls, saturated and weakened by the relentless downpour, began to show signs of distress. Frantic telegrams were sent from the dam to Johnstown, warning of the imminent danger. But the telegraph lines, downed by the storm, failed to deliver their urgent message. The people of Johnstown, oblivious to the impending disaster, remained unaware of the watery grave that awaited them. As the storm raged on, the water level behind the dam continued to rise at an alarming rate. The once solid structure pushed beyond its limits groaned and creaked under the immense weight of the impounded water. 
the stage was set for a catastrophe of unimaginable proportions. On May 31, 1889, the South Fork Dam gave way. A 40-foot wall of water surged towards Johnstown. The deluge carrying debris and houses slammed into the town. Buildings crumbled, and the town was transformed into a vortex of destruction. The Johnstown flood claimed over 2,000 lives, a stark reminder of nature's power. Nestled amidst the sun-baked canyons of California, the St. Francis Dam stood as a proud monument to human ingenuity. Completed in 1926, this concrete giant promised to quench the thirst of a rapidly growing Los Angeles. Few could have imagined the catastrophe that awaited. Beneath the surface, a silent threat was brewing. Unbeknownst to the engineers and workers, the geological forces at play would soon reveal their devastating power. The canyon walls, composed of unstable rock formations, harbored a deadly secret. The night of March 12, 1928, dawned like any other in the valleys below the St. Francis Dam. Unaware of the impending doom, families slept peacefully in their beds, the distant glow of Los Angeles a comforting presence on the horizon. At 11.57 p.m., the silence of the night was shattered by a deafening roar. The mountain, as if awakened from a deep slumber, shuddered violently. The St. Francis Dam, weakened by the relentless pressure and unseen geological forces had finally succumbed. A wall of water carrying with it millions of tons of concrete and debris surged down the canyon, engulfing everything in its path. Homes, farms, and entire towns vanished beneath the raging torrent, the force of the deluge so powerful it was felt as far away as the Pacific Ocean. The wave, a monstrous wall of destruction over 100 feet high, roared down the valley at unimaginable speed, leaving a trail of devastation in its wake. For those caught in its path there was no escape, the unforgiving power of nature had unleashed its fury. When dawn broke, the true scale of the disaster became horrifyingly clear. The once fertile valley lay in ruins, a desolate landscape scarred by the relentless power of water. The official death toll stood at 431. The collapse of the St. Francis Dam sent shockwaves through the nation. It stood as a stark reminder of the devastating consequences of engineering oversights. The lessons learned from this event would forever change dam engineering. The St. Francis Dam, though a symbol of tragedy, also served as a catalyst for crucial advancements in dam safety. In the heart of Idaho, nestled amidst a picturesque landscape, stood the Teton Dam. Completed in 1975, this imposing structure harnessed the power of the Teton River, promising irrigation and hydroelectric power. Little did they know, a disaster was looming, exposing the vulnerabilities of man-made structures. The Teton Dam harbored a fatal flaw, a weakness in its design and construction. As the reservoir filled, the pressure grew, testing its structural integrity. On June 5, 1976, the dam gave way, unleashing a catastrophic torrent. The collapse serves as a stark reminder of nature's power and the importance of meticulous engineering. The deluge swept across the landscape with terrifying speed, transforming the once tranquil Teton River into a raging torrent. Homes, businesses, and entire communities were swallowed whole by the relentless floodwaters. The scale of the destruction was staggering, a testament to the raw power unleashed by the dam's failure. In the wake of the disaster, the true extent of the devastation became horrifyingly clear. Eleven lives were lost to the unforgiving floodwaters, a poignant reminder of the human cost of such catastrophic events. The economic impact was equally devastating, with damages estimated at a staggering $2 billion, a heavy price to pay for the lessons learned. The collapse of the Teton Dam left an indelible mark on the landscape and the lives of those who called the region home. The disaster served as a stark reminder of the ever-present power of nature and the importance of respecting its might. However, from the ruins emerged a spirit of resilience, a determination to rebuild and learn from the tragedy. The Teton Dam collapse, though tragic, spurred significant changes in the field of dam engineering and safety regulations. Investigations into the disaster revealed critical flaws in the dam's design and construction, highlighting the need for more rigorous safety standards and oversight. The lessons learned from this catastrophe would go on to shape dam construction practices worldwide. 
One of the key takeaways from the Teton Dam failure was the importance of thorough geological surveys prior to dam construction. The dam's foundation built on porous volcanic rock proved to be unstable, contributing to its eventual collapse. This tragic oversight underscored the need for a comprehensive understanding of the geological conditions at any proposed dam site. Furthermore, the disaster highlighted the importance of robust monitoring systems to detect potential problems early on. The Teton Dam exhibited warning signs of instability in the days leading up to its collapse, but these signs were not fully recognized or acted upon in time. The implementation of sophisticated monitoring technologies and improved communication protocols became paramount in preventing future disasters. Nestled high in the Italian Alps, the Vajon Dam stood as a testament to human ingenuity, a towering structure designed to harness the power of the Vajon River. Completed in 1960, it was at the time the tallest thin arch dam in the world, a source of pride for Italian engineering. However, this symbol of progress would soon become a harbinger of tragedy, a stark reminder of the unpredictable nature of the mountains themselves. The Vajon Dam, despite its impressive scale and sophisticated design, faced an insidious threat one hidden within the very mountains it sought to control. The surrounding slopes, composed of unstable rock formations, posed a constant risk of landslides, a danger that would ultimately prove catastrophic. Unbeknownst to the engineers and those living in the valley below, a massive landslide was brewing on the slopes of Monte Toc, a towering peak overlooking the reservoir. As the reservoir filled, the water pressure on the mountainside increased, weakening the already unstable rock formations and setting the stage for a disaster of unimaginable proportions. On the evening of October 9, 1963, disaster struck. With a deafening roar, a colossal mass of rock and earth estimated at over 260 million cubic meters broke free from the slopes of Monte Toc. The landslide plunged into the reservoir at a speed exceeding 100 kilometers per hour, creating a wave of unimaginable power. The wave, towering over 250 meters high, surged over the dam's crest, engulfing the valley below in a catastrophic deluge. Entire villages, homes, and everything in the wave's path were obliterated in an instant. The force of the water was so immense that it registered on seismographs as far away as Brussels. The wave, a terrifying spectacle of nature's raw power, carved a path of destruction through the valley, leaving behind a scene of unimaginable devastation. The once picturesque landscape was transformed into a desolate wasteland, littered with debris and the remnants of lives lost. The Vajon Dam disaster, though the dam itself remained intact, claimed the lives of an estimated 2,000 people a heart-wrenching testament to the devastating consequences of geological instability. The disaster sent shockwaves throughout the world, leading to a reassessment of dam safety standards and a heightened awareness of the importance of thorough geological surveys. In the aftermath of the Vajon Dam disaster, the focus shifted from simply building bigger and taller dams to a more holistic approach, considering the complex interplay between engineering and the natural environment. The tragedy served as a stark reminder that even the most impressive feats of engineering are no match for the untamed forces of nature. The Vajant Dam disaster stands as a somber reminder of the potential consequences of overlooking geological risks in dam construction. It underscored the need for comprehensive risk assessments, robust monitoring systems, and a deep respect for the power of nature. The lessons learned from this tragic event continue to shape dam safety practices worldwide ensuring that such a disaster is not repeated. From the shattered remains of the Bankiao Dam to the wave that swept over the Vajon Valley, these catastrophic dam collapses serve as stark reminders of the immense power of nature and the importance of human responsibility in the face of that power. While each disaster brought unimaginable tragedy, they also spurred innovations in engineering, safety standards, and our understanding of the delicate balance between human ambition and the natural world. As we continue to harness the Earth's resources for energy and progress, it is imperative that we remember the lessons etched in the scars of these disasters. By respecting the power of nature investing in rigorous research and engineering and prioritizing the safety of communities, we can strive to prevent such tragedies from recurring. We want to hear from you. Which dam collapse story surprised you the most? 
do you think modern technology can prevent such disasters in the future? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Your insights and opinions are what make this community great. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends who love history and engineering. Stay safe and see you in the next video.